the Philadelphia Eagles have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. Today, we're going to break it down, starting with this first play right here. Left guard Landon Dickerson and center Jason Kelsey are going to pick up the defensive tackle stunt, where the defensive lineman here is going to go right into Dickerson, and number 93 is going to come around. And the offensive line does a great job processing it. Dickerson realizes the stunt's coming. And he's going to full on take this nose here and stop him in his tracks right there. And of course, Kelsey does a great job switching with the defender coming around. And ultimately, they keep the pocket clean for the quarterback. And the quarterback is going to throw the pass deep. The pass does fall incomplete, as you guys can see. But the offensive line did a great job. And this was a pass interference, so the ball ends up getting placed at the 50-yard line. But really, I want to break down this offensive line today and really talk to you guys and show you guys examples of why this unit is so damn dominant. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. When Dickerson came out of Alabama, he was my number one ranked center. Now, of course, the Eagles have primarily played him at guard. And that's likely where he'll play the rest of his career. But in my opinion, he is a top 10 guard already for plays like this. He's going to get out in space. He's going to find his defender, make contact, and really clear the way for Miles Sanders on this 8-yard gain. But it's not just Dickerson's pull. Kelsey does an equally nice job getting up, and he's going to make contact with this linebacker who's going to fill. And Kelsey, of course, is super quick, super good footwork. He does a great job making contact with the linebacker, and even the running back. You know, some running backs may end up just cutting this inside or bending this backside, but Sanders is going to continue this onto the outside. And of course, that was the correct path, because of course, Dickerson clears the way, and he picks up a nice chunk of yards. Now, I also want to give some credit to Grant number 81 here, the tight end. Because ultimately this play does not work without the seal block here on this defensive end. To start the play he does a great job making contact and sticking with this guy long enough that Sanders can get to the outside. Of course there's the block there. This is a really nice job by the entire offensive line and tight ends. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Check this inside zone to the left here. And we're going to break down some of these blocks because this is a really nice job by the entire offensive line. Specifically inside guys as well as the right tackle Lane Johnson. Now I want you guys to watch Lane Johnson because he has to get to the inside here of this three technique defensive tackle. Right out of his stance, Johnson is super quick, he's super explosive. And right out of his stance, he's able to reach and make contact with this defensive tackle. And Isaac Samalo does a great job double teaming and making sure that Johnson is able to get to the inside. That's a really nice double team. At the same time, the right guard's going to get up to the linebacker. And Sanders has such a nice lane here that's created by the right guard, right tackle. Even the center and left guard do a great job here. And of course, Sanders picks up a lot of yards on this play. This is a really nice job. If you guys watch the double team by the inside guys here, they do a great job on number 93 as well as getting up to the inside linebacker. And of course, Sanders goes right off of that. This is a really nice job by the entire offensive line. Let's go ahead and jump into the next rep. Now, if this is the first time you're on this channel, one of the things we like to do is look at positive plays. But also look at negative plays. And in this play, Dickerson's going to end up getting beat by defensive tackle Jonathan Allen. No, a lot of people think Allen is one of the best defense tackles in the NFL. And in this play, the quarterback takes a massive hit by that defensive tackle. Now, this is a run-pass option. And from an offensive line's perspective, they're going to be blocking this to the right. So this is basically a zone to the right. And of course, Sanders could potentially get the ball. And what the quarterback's looking at is he's looking at this guy right here. If this defender steps up, the quarterback's going to throw it. If he doesn't, if he kind of stays behind, he hands it off. So as this play begins, you're going to see Hertz is going to read that defender. The defender comes down to support the run. Quarterback pulls the ball. He's going to end up throwing it. But do know he gets hit as he throws it. The ball sails way high on this play. Now here's the thing with Dickerson. His responsibility is to get to the inside of Allen here. He would be the backside seal on this play. But the one issue when you jump set a guy when you try to block down is if they come to the outside, which is exactly what Allen does, you could potentially lose. And of course, in this play, you guys see he does end up losing. Not a major deal. I think these are the types of reps that Jeff Stoutland will look at and say, let's break this down. Let's discuss why you ended up losing on this play. And this is what you need to do in order to win this rep next time. I do think this is a learning rep. Either way, not a major deal. I do think these type of things get fixed up as you take more and more reps. That being said, let's go ahead and jump forward into the next rep. I want you guys to watch this play right here by Landon Dickerson and Jordan Mulata. They're going to process this tackle and stunt. And really Dickerson does a great job with his punch to really pass off Jonathan Allen. As he gets out of his stance, he does a nice job in his set. And he sees that Allen is coming towards the left tackle. Dickerson's going to do a great job throwing a nice punch. And that punch ultimately right there is what allows Jordan Mulata to pick up Allen. At the same time, it changes the trajectory of Allen. 
See, what Allen wanted to do in this play is go directly to the inside shoulder of Malata. When you guys back this play up, you guys see it that he's going directly at Malata. That punch by Dickerson changes his trajectory. Instead of going to the inside shoulder, the punch ends up forcing him to the outside. That's a really nice job right there. At the same time, Malata picks up Allen and then Dickerson keeps his head to the inside to pick up the defensive end coming on the inside stunt and he shuts that down that's a really nice rep by the entire left side of the offensive line let's go ahead and jump into the next rep jumping forward into the next rep i want you guys to watch the blocking scheme by the offensive line because this play is not normal based off the way it was kind of blocked you guys have a couple of different fold blocks you guys have a couple of trap blocks i want you guys to watch first and foremost the center and left guard. The center is going to let this defensive lineman go. What he's going to do is he's going to go first. He's going to get to the inside here of this linebacker. And Dickerson's going to come around and seal off the one technique defensive tackle. At the same time, the left tackle is going to push out number 97 and stretch him outwards. And 89 is going to trap number 93. And the run is going to be right through that lane right there. From a blocking perspective, this is really nice. And I really like the way the Eagles drew this play up. Because you get 6 yards on a quick play to the inside. But again, as we watch the inside block between the center and left guard, you're going to see the center go first. Left guard comes around to stop that defensive tackle. And it's a nice job because Dickerson has the angle already on this defensive lineman. So what that means is as Kelsey goes up to the linebacker, Dickerson has the angle and he really doesn't have to do anything else because this play is to the left. He already has his butt facing that way. At the same time, when you look at Mulata as well as the tight end here, as Mulata makes contact, the tight end is going to have the angle on number 93 as well. Mulata goes first, number 93 comes second. Keep in mind, Sanders is kicking this to the outside of 89 and because of the fact that he's down blocking on 93, he already kind of has the angle. Now I do want to point out one other thing about this block and that is Malata and the fact that he's going to take Adafe here and really stretch him outwards. And never underestimate how some offensive linemen can take some defensive linemen and straight move. That's a great job by Malata. Think about where he makes contact with this guy. And look how far relative to the hash mark this defensive end ends up. Malata's going to drive and move number 97 that's a great job right there great job by the entire offensive line let's go ahead and get to the next rep one of the things that we don't really do is break down plays like this but note this is how a lot of plays end up with the eagles offensive line what do i mean i mean look at how clean this pocket is here look at how the right tackle anchors down against the defensive end you know at some point you have to anchor down and johnson does a great job anchoring dropping those hips and stopping the defensive end at the same time, Malata does a great job lining up with this defensive end in a one-on-one -on -one situation and shutting him down. Dickerson shuts his guy down. Kelsey, everybody's just shutting whoever it is that they're lined up across. They're shutting him down. And Hurts has so much room to be able to step up and make this deep pass. And of course, it's completed, but it's the offensive line that's doing a great job on these reps. You know, in my opinion, Miles Sanders is one of the best running backs in the NFL, and it's plays like this. But more so than plays like this, the offensive line is just doing a great job opening up lanes. Check this play out. From the end zone angle, you really see the lane that opens up for Sanders. And it's such a great job by the center, Jason Kelsey. And do note, Kelsey is my number one center right now in the NFL. And it's plays like this. He's going to get to the inside of number 94. And Isaac Samala is also going to get there to that same defender. And watch as Kelsey climbs to the second level. As he gets up to number 55 and he seals it off. Like people don't realize how difficult of a block this is. Like Kelsey not only takes on number 94, but he passes him off to the right guard. And of course, the right guard is able to overtake him. And Kelsey gets up to number 55. But basically, Kelsey opens up this entire running lane right here for what, 10 yards? And it's so easy for him to be able to do it. And this is why he's the number one center in the NFL. The guy has Hall of Fame written all over him for plays like this. And what's crazy is... His backup, Cam Jurgens, is really good as well. So I can't wait until he steps in, right? And I don't know if that's going to be anytime soon, especially with the way Kelsey is already playing. He's so damn good. He's so explosive. He's so fast. But Jurgens is going to be able to take a lot from Kelsey, right, in terms of knowledge and really learning from one of the best in the NFL. If you guys haven't seen my Jurgens video, I, I did a preseason tape of him about a month ago. You guys can go back and check it out. Um, but even on the front side here, Dickerson, and the uh, left tackle Mulata both do a great job. They're going to just have simple out blocks. That's a nice job for Mulata to process number 52. All right, 52 right there is going to come around. And these two guys process it perfectly. And 52 kind of gets himself out of the play. This is a really nice job, man. And of course, Sanders sees the, the lane as well, right? Because on this play, 
Some running backs may say, hey, I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut this between the left tackle and left guard. But Sanders sees the lane developing. This is just a really nice job by the entire offense line. In my opinion, this play is blocked really nicely. The running back sees the lane. And I see a lot of success on the ground for this Eagles team. I oftentimes say this. For a team to have success on the offense side of the ball, you have to have a great offensive line. And you don't need to have the best left tackle or best right tackle or best center. You just need five guys that work together, right? That's what makes a, a offensive line like the Bears good or the Vikings, right? That's one of the reasons why those offensive lines are able to have success this season is because the five guys just work well together. And, of course, you guys can see the Eagles work really well together as well. But it's really these blocks that, that Kelsey is displaying here on tape, right? Uh, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Now, of course, as I mentioned, I do like to show you guys positive and negative plays. Uh, this is an inside zone to the right of your screen. Left guard Opita, I think that's how you say his name, has come into the game. And you're going to see uh, Allen just swim right over him and blow the play up. Now, of course, this is teach tape. The coach is going to take him and say, this is where you messed up. You went too far to the outside. And ultimately, you lost because Allen was able to swim over you to the inside. At the same time, Kelsey was not there to, to help potentially make the play or at least contain the backside with you. On these inside zone plays, you can't allow your guy to cross your face to the inside. If Allen wants to go to the inside, that's perfectly fine. But you have to stick with him. And you have to make sure when Kelsey comes over to overtake him, that he's not already a yard or two into the backfield because ultimately Kelsey would never be able to get him, as you guys can see. Not a major deal, but I did want to point it out. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Alrighty, guys, I want to wrap this video up with this final play. You're going to see Jason Kelsey once again get to the right of your screen and hook this uh, one technique defensive tackle here. This is a great job, man. When your center can hook a nose the way this guy hooks, guys, it's, it's crazy, man. That's exactly how you want to stop a guy. Really nice job by Kelsey. Even Lane Johnson here is going to get to the inside of number 94 and utilize the butt block for his seal. There it is right there. That's a great job by him as well. Uh, overall, man, this offense line is really dominant, and I really like where they're at. Because of those type of blocks, Sanders is able to pick up five yards super quickly. In my opinion, the Eagles definitely have, if not the best offensive line, one of the top three offensive lines. And it's because of the success they have with one another. Kelsey knows what Dickerson's going to do. And Jordan Malata knows what Lane Johnson may do. Vice versa, right? The offensive line really works well together. And ultimately, I think this unit is absolutely dominant. And I'm not surprised this team's 3-0. Right? They have so many great weapons, great offensive line, a great quarterback that's really proving me wrong. I'm glad the Eagles are having success because they absolutely deserve it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.